Good day everyone. This is Sir Alan Medina. Today we have a new lesson for our mathematics quarter 1 module 3 week 3 division of fractions which has lesson number 1 division involving whole numbers and simple fractions. But before we're going to have our lesson for today, we would like to give credits to the Department of Education, especially in the Division of Plano del Norte, headed by their school's Division Superintendent, Edilberto Oplinaria, CESA 5, and also to the writers, the illustrator and layout artists, the proofreader, in-house content and language editors, to the management team, and to the whole development team of the module, thank you so much. So let's tackle about lesson number one, division involving whole numbers and simple fractions. So what you need to know is that after completing this lesson, you are expected to A, perform the activities that involve whole numbers and fractions, and then divide simple fraction by whole number and vice versa, and divide simple fraction by another fraction in simple form. So, pagkatapos ng module na ito or lesson na ito ay matututunan nyo kung paano kayo magdi-divide ng mga fraction gamit ang whole number at ang fraction na naman gamit ang isa pang fraction. So, before we're going to discuss about the lesson, I will be going to check first what you have learned about the topic. So, for items 1 to 7, you have to select the correct answers from the given choices and write the letters of the correct answers in your activity notebook or your mathematics notebook. Do not put any answers in your module. So, question number 1. What is the quotient of 4, 6, and 2, 9? A. Is it 2? B. 1? C. 3? D. 4? Number two, a farmer had three-fourth bag of fertilizer. He put one-eighth of the three-fourth bag of fertilizer in each garden plot. How many garden plots were given fertilizers? A, six, B, four, C, eight, D, two. Number three, the distance from a place to the school is one-third kilometers. How many trips are needed to cover five kilometers? A. 10 B. 20 C. 15 D. 18 Number 4. Jeanette served two whole pizza to her friends. Each visitor was given one-fourth of the pizza. How many visitors shared the pizza? A. 5 B. 6 C. 10 D. 8 Number 5. How many sixths are there in 5 12? A. 2 and a half B. 3 and a half C. 1 and a half D, five and a half. Number six. What is the quotient when 14 is divided by two-thirds? A, 21. B, 20. C, 23. D, 22. Number seven. How many one-fifth are there in 20? A, 90. B, 80. C, 70, D, 100. Okay, for items 8 to 10, write your answers on your quiz notebook. Number 8, find the quotient of 13 divided by 2, 8. Number 9, Rosa served 4 fifths of a pizza to her visitor. Each visitor was given 2 fifths of the pizza. How many visitors shared the pizza? 
And number 10, when 6 ninth is divided by 3 fifths, it equals to what number? Answer. Okay, I will be giving another set of exercises. You have to do it. Write the product in your activity notebook or your mathematics notebook. So, one-fourth of one-fifth is three-fourth of one-half is three-sixth times two-fifth, three-eighth of four-fifth, and three-seventh times two-third. Exercises number B. What fraction will you place in the blank to satisfy the given equation below? Number one is done for you. Example, one fourth times four over one is equals to one. Number two, three fourth times blank equals one. Number three, four six times blank equals one. Number four, five times blank equals one. Number five, six times blank equals one. Now, you have to take a look to the problem below. After receiving the social amelioration subsidy from the government, Mang Huan bought 5 kilograms of rice. He wanted to share 1 half kilogram to each of his neighbors who did not receive any subsidy. How many neighbors do you think he has given rice? Questions. What did Mang Huan receive? Next, what did he do? with that with what he received next how many neighbors do you think he has given free rice and represent the five kilogram of rice by block okay now based from the situation na nabasa natin kanina let us use the blocks below to show how many halves can we make in five kilograms so meron akong limang rectangle dito. Ito ngayon ang nagre-represent ng isang rectangle, isang kilo ng bigas. Now, try to cut the blocks in halves to show how many neighbors did Mang Juan has given rice. So, ngayon, sabi kanina sa situation, nagbigay si Mang Juan ng tigha half kilo sa kanyang mga neighbors. Ngayon, Ang isang kilo ay isang rectangle. So, hahatiin natin ito sa dalawa, ang isang kilo, kaya may nakikita kayong broken lines ngayon dyan. So, 5 divided by 1 half equals blank. There are blank halves in 5 whole units. Now, atin ngayong bibilangin kung ilan na lahat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, ilang one half meron sa limang kilogram ng bigas? There are 10 halves in 5 whole units. Pwedeng ganon ang pagkasol. Magdo-drawing tayo. And meron ding ibang way or ibang paraan paano mag-solve ng problem na yan. Now, let's try the other way on how we are going to solve the situation. Let us take the reciprocal of 1 half. Now, the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1. Ano ba ang reciprocal? The reciprocal is the multiplicative inverse of each number. In other words, simply interchange the numerator and denominator to make it equal to 1. Pag sinabi natin reciprocal, I-diretsyo na lang natin sa pag-change or interchange. Kung ang 1 half, i-change natin sila, magiging 2 over 1. Para ang equal niya is 1 pa rin. Now, pagkatapos nating hanapin ang reciprocal, multiplying the number and its reciprocal, we have 1 half times 2, 1 equals 1. So, 1 half and 2, 1 are reciprocals or multiplicative inverse of each other. Again, uulitin ko, ang reciprocal ay ang kabaliktaran. Kung ang 1 half, binaliktad natin, naging 2-1. Now, 
gagamitin na natin ang reciprocal sa pag-solve nun. Equals 5 divided by 1 half equals blank. So, 5 automatically, lagyan natin ng 1. So, 5, 1 divided by 1 half equals 5, 1 times 2 over 1. Bakit na naging 2 over 1? Kasi yung 1 half kanina ay ginawa nating reciprocal. Ngayon, we will be going to multiply the numerators and then the denominators. Ang mga numerator ay, ay yung mga number na nasa taas at ang denominator naman ay ang number na nasa baba. So, multiply natin si 5 at si 2. 5 times 2 equals 10. Then, 1 times 1 equals 1. So, ang sagot is 10 over 1. Or, 10 divided by 1 equals 10. In other words, there are 10 halves in 5 kilograms. So, there are 10 neighbors Mang Juan has given rise. Now, we will solve another problem. Example, divide 3 7 divided by 3 fifth. So, ang gagawin natin ay reciprocal natin yung isa. So, si 3 7 divided by 3 fifth equals 3 times 7. Supposedly, si 3 fifth ginawa nating reciprocal. So, naging 5 third. Now, again, ang process, kailangan natin silang i-multiply ang mga number na nasa taas, ang mga numerators, at i-multiply din natin yung mga numbers na nasa baba, ang mga denominators. 3 times 5 equals 15. 7 times 3 equals 21. So, 15 over 21. Ngayon, si 15 at si number 21 ay merong number na pareho silang madidivide. And that is what we call the greatest common factor. So, si 15 at si 21 ay parehong madidivide ni 3. So, magiging 15 divided by 3 equals 5. And then, 21 divided by 3 equals 7. So, 5, 7, wala nang number na pwede makapag-divide sa kanilang dalawa. So, ang answer natin ay 5 over 7. Now, meron tayong panibagong activity. Climb the ladder as fast as you can go to get the surprise egg on top. Meron kayong nakikita na ladder sa module ninyo. Magka-climb kayo. Pero bago kayo makaklimb, ay dapat masagutan nyo yung mga mathematical sentence na dyan. So, let's start. 3 fourth divided by 1 12. 10 divided by 5 8. 5 12 divided by 4. 3 fifth divided by 1 fifth. 4 fifth divided by 5, 20 over 27 divided by 1 third. So, pag nakuha nyo lahat ang sagot na yan, meron kang surprise sa egg on top. Now, I will be testing you what you have learned in our lesson. To divide fractions, First, I am going to rewrite the division operations as related blank in which I multiply the dividend by the blank of the divisor. Next, I will multiply the blank and then the blank. Finally, I will blank the answers in lowest terms if possible. So, you can do it. Test A. Find the answers to the following. Write the letter that corresponds the correct answer in the box. Make sure your answer is in its simplest form. Okay. Letter A. 3 6 divided by 1 half. Ang mga sagot nila ay nandun sa ibaba ng box. Kung saan ang sagot niya, dun mo isusulat ang letter sa loob ng box. Letter I. 4 7 divided by 2 thirds. Letter M. 1 divided by 2 thirds. Letter S, 12 15 divided by 1 fourth. Letter T, 15 18 divided by 2 six. Letter V, 15 over 18 divided by 3. And finally, letter N, 2 divided by 2 thirds. For quiz B, you also 
you also do the game quiz in Depth and Commons using the link below. Merong link dyan sa module ninyo. Kung merong kayong internet, ay pwede nyo yung i-open. Okay, I will be testing you now. For items 1 to 7, you have to select the correct answers. So, 1. Aiko bought 4 fifths of a cake to school. She divided it equally and shared all of it to her friends. How much cake did each friend receive? A. 4 over 15 B. 8 over 15 C. 7 over 15 or D. 9 over 15 Number 2 Jeanette served three-fourths of a pizza to her friends. Each visitor was given one-fourth of the pizza. How many visitors shared the pizza? A. 4 B. 5 C. 3 D. 4 Number 3. What is the quotient of 4, 6, and 2, 9? A. 2 B. 1 C. 3 D. 4 Number 4. If you divide 3 fifth by 3 times, what is the answer? A. 1 fifth B. 2 third C. 1 half D. 1 fourth Number 5. Nick and his father can repair one desk in one third hour. How many desks can they repair in 3 hours? A. 10 B. 6 C. 7 D 9 Number 6 What is the value of n in 6 divided by 3 fourth equals n A 9 B 7 C 6 D 8 Number 7 What is 3 fifth divided by 1 half A 2 and 1 fifth B 3 and 1 fifth C, 2 and 1 fifth. D, 1 and 1 fifth. 